Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Gun. And, uh, I'm gonna bring you a deck that, uh, I think has been talked about for a while, but hasn't actually seen any testing slash play. And, uh, let's go, let's go check it out. I'm chilling right now. Uh, I've been packing up stuff because we're about to move. So, like, my pot figures and shit are gone. They're all boxed up right now. But, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm talking about Whale Stall. This is a deck that, uh, I know some people have been... People are conceptualizing, especially with the reveal of Scoop Up Net. Uh, because, as the text would point out, it only apply. You only can't scoop up Vs or GXs. You can probably figure out that an EX is not a V or a GX. So, you have cards like Waylord EX, Seismitoad, you have shit like Bats, mostly just big boys. Shaman, of course, because you obviously get to use abilities like Shaman and Jirachi, and can just spam them on the field, and being able to scoop them up can also get rid of the, uh, how should I put it? The threat of them being killed, I guess? You you get rid of prizes off your board, so Scoop Up Net is an overall broken card. It's no secret that this card is likely going to get banned, and with Pokemon's most recent ban announcement, uh, which was Bryson, Man, and Biloba, and uh, Miss Magius and Standard, they pointed out that because there are no events in Expanded right now, they're not banning anything, but they are going to ban cards. They're talking about Net and Trepnor, specifically. They, they didn't mention them by name, but we all know that what they were talking about. So we gotta enjoy Net while we still can, because while there aren't any events going on, and a lot of online ban events are banning Net, because they have custom ban lists, they can do that. There's not much room to play this outside of Ladder, so... Because the deck isn't too great to begin with, like, there's no reason to run walls over dolls, if that makes any sense, even though this deck does run two doll for a different reason. Um, it is very fun, I guess. I can't really say it's fun. I haven't really played any games with this yet. You'll find out if it's fun or not, uh, but I guess I should just go into the deck. So, Waylord, obviously, 250. It's a two-prizer. It's a two-prizer with 250 HP, and it's a basic. Uh, the attack and ability don't do anything. It doesn't matter. You're never using either. Although I guess you could attach energy to heal special conditions. I don't know what special conditions are going to come up other than poison. Sometimes. Because sometimes decks play laser bank. There's not much of a reason to ever use water veil. But what does matter is that it's a 252 prize or basic. That is insane. Uh, it's just gonna sit there and wall stuff out. You can scoop it up with scoop up net. You have AZs, you have Acer Rolls, you have all this other cool stuff to just sit there while your opponent runs through their resources. Uh, I'm running a Toad. This is able to stop items. It's another card that can abuse scoop up net. And I want to run DCE for another reason, which I'll get into in a second. But Quaking Punch is very good. It can, it can stop other stall decks. Uh, it slows down your opponent if you're trying to, like, set up a board state where you can get more Pokemon out or you want to just stall more turns. It's very good. Uh, also running a Luke Metal. This was the other card that I was talking about that I want DCE for. Steel Fist. You don't really care about Steel Fist. Let, let's be real, you, you're only using this for Full Metal Wall. So you're discarding all of your opponent's active Pokemon for a DCE. And for the rest of the game, your Metal Pokemon, which I think this is the only one in the deck, right? Yeah, your Luke Metal is taking 30 less every for the rest of the game. Uh, the reason you like this over Articuno is because the 30 less damage actually does matter situationally. I know it matters against Eggrow a lot because once they start setting up the Burning Shadows plume, you can't really do anything. And with Luke Metal, if you Full Metal Wall against plume, like you, well, I guess not against plume, but like... If you full metal wall, the plume is only doing 30 damage. It's, it's just not doing much. Uh, and it has more HP than Articuno, which is really good. Uh, we're also running two Hoopa. This is another just wall. Uh, stuff that can one-shot Waylord usually is big GXs, like tag teams. So you just want to put Hoopa active and they can't really do anything. A big issue with this deck is going to be ADPZ. Because ADBZ is a good expanded deck, and this can't really deal with it other than just Ranger and Prey. If you do Ranger against ADPZ, their Zacian is going to have a harder time killing the Waylord, but if they play the Choice Band, it's suddenly a lot harder for you to win. So yeah. Uh, we're also running the Giraffe and the Guru. Gets you re your resources back, Giraffe gets rid of your opponent's resources. 
Uh, and then Bunnelby also gets resources back while milling your opponent. It does both of those, albeit not as strong individually. But it's still good. Bunnelby is still a very good card, in my opinion. And then Munchlax. Munchlax says to do that without attacking, uh, lets you do that without putting something active. It's good for that reason. Also, it's as for your retreat, so it's a decent pivot. That's the entire Pokemon lineup 12. It's very simple. Uh, it's very reminiscent of other just regular stall decks. You just run like four big stall boys, two Hoopa, one to two Hoopa. Uh, and then a lot of techs. A lot of one-up techs that you get back with like Stretcher. Uh, if they're prized, you can Gladian for them. Uh, the rest of it is just like a regular stall stuff. You're in four Stevens. This isn't dolls, so you don't earn teammates, but you do earn Sinlins. Sinlin is very good because under item lock, you get all your supporters back. Which is very good against Plume. Uh, it's good against Roxy too because like they game, their game plan is to set up Noivern a lot of the times. And if they're running the Hoop Attack, which uh, no leaks. Just kidding. The big leaks. I always leak my ideas. Uh, I'm testing a Blockade Executor in Roxy right now. It's good because you can Roxy it away. I, I think I like it more than the Baby Noivern. I mentioned this before in the Roxy video a couple months ago, I think. I don't know if I did. I'm going to have to do an update of the Roxy list anyway, because I did change a few cards in the, or a couple cards in the deck. Don't worry about it. Uh, but I think Exeggutor is a much better answer for Control, Stall, Aggro, all that shit. Exeggutor just kind of stops them. You don't have problems searching out the basic because you can just compress your egg, put them in your hand, and then put it down. So it's also good for that aspect. And with running the Exeggutor, you can have you can still have your Noivern GX on the field. Usually against Stall, you want to have the Noivern GX out because Item Lock is kind of your win con. And if you're using the Baby Noivern to kill Hoopa, they can just Versus Seeker for Faba and you're back where you started, except you don't have your Noivern anymore because you evolved your Noibat already. So having access to Item Lock and Supporter Lock is kind of crazy, especially since uh, your Item Lock Mon, Noivern GX is for your treat. I don't know why I'm talking about Roxy. I'm, I'm playing stall. Well, I guess it's more so related to the Hoopa, but you know what I mean. Probably. Hopefully. I know I'm not very good at uh, explaining my points a lot of the times, because I'm just so into this. I kind of just expect people to know, even though that's the whole point of me explaining. It's because people don't know. Uh, you choose to run basic dark energy. You can run metal. You can run water. I think dark is the best because you can attack with Hoopa, which does matter sometimes. Sometimes. A lot of times if you're trading hoop with hoopa it's not gonna go well for hoopa but it's fine if you need to attack with hoopa it's an option uh we're running one hood you could run fury belt in this deck but i don't because whenever you play scoop up net uh az if you play either of those it discards the, the fury belt and the whole point of running the waylord in the first place is that they can't kill it otherwise i would probably just be running straight luke metal stall which is an idea, it's a deck that I've been messing with since December, but ever since the supporter change and like Sword and Shield coming out with Vs, it's just, I've kind of been turned off to the idea of Luke Metal Stall. I should have played it at Dallas because I think I would have day two in hindsight, but hindsight is always 20-20. Uh, running one Guzma, it's Guzma, it's a supporter gust, it's good. Uh, two Counter Catcher, you're not taking prizes in this deck. It's not even like Doll Stall where you can take prizes against certain decks to win. You straight up don't take prizes. So... Countercatcher is good. Uh, I'm running two doll. It's a great. Pi this is probably the best pivot in the deck. If you AZ scoop up net something, you put a doll down. You scoop up net. You put the doll back, and now that thing's active again. Uh, also, if your opponent is completely out of resources but has more cards in deck than you for whatever reason, uh, you can just loop your doll. You can just be like, okay, I have two dolls on board. I have zero cards in deck. I'm a doll to the bottom. Put a doll active. Uh, I don't know how th if that actually works in this deck, but it works in Sun and Moon through Cosmic Eclipse Luke Metal Stall. Which has been a deck that I've been messing with. Because that's a format people have been playing, is Sun and Moon through Cosmic Eclipse. And Luke Metal Stall is absolutely insanely broken for that format. And that's actually a viable strategy, is to just doll loop whenever you don't have resources left, because usually your opponent doesn't either. Uh, we're running a Faba. I could run two. I, I see the argument for running two. I think this could be good with two, but there's not space for, as of right now. Uh, we're running four beach. You could probably cut a beach for a Faba. Because I know that Dolls plays three beach. Because you tend, you don't really need more than three. But also because that deck has teammates. I, in you know, this is running Sinlin, not teammates. I can't search for the beach. 
I see. I, I would also argue that Four Beach is better here than in Dolls. Uh, did I actually explain why I'm running Stealthy Hood? I don't think I did. Oh yeah, no, because I, I was gonna discuss it and then talked about why I don't run Fury Belt. Right. So we're running the Hood because uh, against uh, obviously because Ned is in format. We're we're assuming that no bands are in place right now. So if we play against Trevnor, we can attach the the Hood to Hoopa. If they run through all the resources, turn one and discard their blower, they're screwed. Because then they have to attack with the muck. Which they don't want to do. Because if they have to blow up a Milotic to attack with the muck, they're not going to win the game. Because then they're not locking your hand, and then you can just kind of go ham on their cheeks. What else do we play Hood for? Oh yeah, the Vile Plume, duh. Uh, why did... That way we can, uh... We can full metal wall against BUS Plume. We can get lost against BUS Plume, which is huge. Uh, and then we can get back... We can get the Bunnelby stuff back. I could be running a Lana Rod just to get the one hood back, but eh. I feel like if against that specific matchup, you only really need it to just full metal wall. That's the main reason you run it for that matchup. Or need it for that matchup. Uh, there was one other thing we ran hood for. I forget what. We run hood for another reason that I can't think of at the moment, but trust me, there is another reason we run hood. Uh, running handiwork, it's just it's mill. It's active mill, which is good. Active pass. It's mill. It's it's mill that isn't an attack, which is what my point is I'm trying to get at. Uh, Ranger against ADPZ. Ranger is another big reason why I don't really like running straight Luke Metal stalls, because Full Metal Wall plays a huge part in that deck, and because ADPZ is good, a lot of people are running Ranger. And people weren't running it for, that, uh, for the Cosmic Eclipse expanded format, because... ADP didn't see play because it didn't have any good partners except for Big Blounds, which that deck wasn't good. Uh, what other cards do we, did I not go over? Four Ace Arola. I like it more than AZ. So you run one AZ, four Ace Arola. We can already pick up almost every mon in the deck with Scoop of Net. There's not a reason to run more. I do like having it as a one of though because it is a supporter that you can search for and use and get back with Versus Seeker and Sinlin. It has the benefit of being able to scoop up not damaged mons. Uh, four Max Pot. Uh, we're only running two Quick Ball. The reason we don't Quick Ball over Nest Ball is because you want to be able to discard supporters. So, like, against Helmet or other decks that play in. You can get your Faba in the hand. You can discard it. Although, that doesn't really work as well in this deck as it does Dolls because you had team. Uh, well, actually, no, you don't have teammates, so you can't go teammates for Faba Quick Ball. Never mind, I'm going back to Nest. Sorry, have to switch this over real quick. This, I know this was hastily prepared because, like... I don't have time to record right now because we're packing up. I'm still cleaning stuff. And it's like 3 o'clock p.m. On, on Friday. I'm, oh, I should have already uploaded today, but I'm recording right now. So it's going to come out a little later than I wanted it to. Uh, I think I discovered... Or, discovered? What the fuck? I think I discussed every point in the deck. We run Dowsing because it's stall. You have plenty of resources. You have plenty of ways to search your resources. Let's go play a few games on ladder with it, though. I know this isn't as comp as it's not as complex as some like other stallists because like dolls dolls is really really high skill ceiling. This walls is less high skill ceiling. It's still stall though, so you still need to like manage your resources pretty well. There are some other things that this should probably run be running that I just straight up forgot about. Like Hugh, the Durant's probably a good idea. You could argue that Snorlax is good, but at that point just play dolls because that's a lot better at locking with Snorlax. It's just simple, good ol', if you can't kill me, a lot of times you can't win the game. And sure enough, we're playing against Ultra Helmet. First game. Hell yeah. So we're gonna go second. We definitely want to go second. Alright, started off the Waylord. They're not gonna be able to one-shot this. So we kind of just win the game. Although if they are playing the Trash Lanch, they can... Excuse me? Take that back. It's not Ultra Helmet. It's a lot of these. Well, this does a lot better against Binder Drop than Dolls does. Dolls is built to beat good decks. This is just built to beat bad. This is the opposite. It's the worst version of Stall, but it's better at beating bad decks. I'm going to go ahead and Nest Ball for the... Uh... Do I get the Luke Metal here? I do. I do want the Luke Metal here. 
I'm just gonna pass. I don't need a Sinlin right now. And I wanna have my I wanna have an extra Acerola. Oh, don't fucking discard the DCE. Discarded mmm, fuck you. It's hitting me for 80, so that leaves me with 170. So you still can't kill me. So we get rid of the Ranger, get the Acerola back. Now I'll pass. Also, don't make fun of me for mismatching beaches. I still haven't... I don't... I haven't been playing PTCGO. Like, I, I've been making that point for the last week or so. And streaming, too. Uh, that I just haven't been really playing. So, I haven't been trading very much. And I haven't gotten the chance to upgrade my beach again. Ninja Boy. You're gonna go into some shit that can kill me, aren't you? No, going to Indeedee. What the hell? Going into Mew 3 without any attacks on the... Well, I guess you can attack with the Muck. Alright, we're gonna go Acerola. Bench that. DCE. Uh, full Metal Wall. So it's actually very awkward that you have access to severe poison. Uh, mate, it's fucking Tina Chomp. No, I have a really bad track record of beating any binder drop deck that plays this card. My card. That is my card. Oh god, I'm gonna be very upset if I actually lose this because I really shouldn't. Got Marnie. That's fucking annoying. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, great. Mmm. Tasty. The fuck do I do? I guess I'm gonna go ahead and get Hoopa. We're just gonna Stevens for th or three useless cards. I don't want to see Toad. I don't need to see Hood. I don't really want to see Dark Energy. Actually, I want to see Dark Energy so little that I'm going to get both of them. I don't know you're going to Marnie me because you're going to be like, oh, I'm Big Brain. He just got three cards. Let me put them back. I know you're going to Marnie me. What are you going to do, boy? Marnie me. Obviously, you Marnie me. There you go. I I done jabated this boy. That hand is bad. Are you gonna attack me? Probably are. God, what have I gotten myself into? Do me a favor. Just don't retreat. Retreat, I'm probably fucked. Because I have exactly six prizes down right now. You're gonna bite me. Oh, thank God you're bad. Bad! Stinky player. Bad, stinky, poo poo player. That was bad for obvious reasons. He wanted to retreat and use a, a severe poison. To set up a KO with uh, Calamity Slash, assuming he hit the other energy. And a lot of energies would have actually been a KO there. I'm gonna do that. I have to. I'm just gonna bench the Giraffe and then Beach. Hit the Ace Rolla. That is exactly what I needed. Evolving into the Polt. Oh. You're gonna beach. Okay. Well. You know what? I've got a plan. We're gonna go for Flare Grunt. Uh, Flare Grunt. Max Pot. This is awkward, dude. 
Earlier on, Max Pot Duzma. I want to be able to Gust and Trap something. I wish I was playing the Mimikyu, actually. Oh, dude, yeah, dude, I'm playing the Sin Lens. I could be playing Mimikyu. That would actually be very good. Well, now I know. You're gonna kill the doll, or you're gonna go after the Hoopa? Probably the Hoopa. Really? You're gonna spread? Why? That definitely seems like a misplay. Yeah, we're gonna go Flare Gun on your basic energy. Uh, Max Pot. And pass. I've not seen a single versus seeker yet. So I'm very curious. That's annoying. All right. So he's just going to spread. Part of me just wants to bring up the Mew 3. But I also think that's a bad idea. Uh, what's the easiest thing to trap? Probably this. gonna go Professor Cuckweed. Balloon? What the fuck? What does this do? Are you fucking serious? Bro, he just hit this fat ass combo. You're gonna go GG end on something? Did you just, you fucking moron. Why would you do that? Fine, if you're just gonna sit there and do that, that's cool. I don't have Faba in hand. I just we're just gonna go flare gun on the double dragon. Keep that shit stuck active as long as possible. And pass. Spend the energy to retreat. I'm okay with that. Then you can just kill the giraffe, so... Do I send up the giraffe? No, I think I just scoop it up. Yeah, I'm gonna scoop up the giraffe. 150, he can't kill me right now. So yeah, we're gonna go Sinlin, away the toad. Get the flare grunt back. Alright, I like that. That's cool. No fucking way. Our opponent's going crazy insano over here. This is so bad. What do I even do about this? I definitely have to max pot so I don't just get calamity slashed out of the game. How much you want to bet he plays a surprise Roxy? I meant to bring up the Tina Chomp, but uh, that's a fine misclick, I guess. We have access to Acerola at the moment. Mm. 
Oh, wait, I could have just gotten GG ended out of the game. Alright. I don't think you have a way to kill me still. Severe poison. Not sure about that line of play, but alright. Okay, sweet. We can go do that. Do that. Acerola. The Munchlax. Burrow, burrow. Oh, God. Yeah, this one's gonna be fucking close. What the hell? Why are you running so many different stadiums, dude? What's up with that? severe poison kill that all right moment of truth let's see what happens stevens for Handiwork, stretcher, scoop up net. after the munchlax sweet dude awesome so any double heads here nah I'd rather just stall for another turn for it. Should have used my Acerola there to scoop up the uh, Munchlax. Stuck. Gonna severe poison. If we hit heads, wait, no, we don't. Oh fuck. Um. Ooh. Yeah. Gonna have to go. Acerola, Waylord, Bench Waylord, Beach. Fucked myself. Ah, uh, I fucked myself. It's fine. Alright. That's also pretty good. It's not, you know, what I wanted, 
I would have preferred the ver another versus seeker or like a Sinlin or something. Koga's trap. I'm still confused. Well, either way, if I'm not able to heal this turn, I lose. Unless I want to leave it up to handiwork flips. A net would be ideal. Um, well, what now? I guess we're going to go Gladian. Why do you need to scoop up net? Can we actually beat this? Can we beat the binder drop? It'll be hella hype if we can. If we if we hit win, I got a fat nut. Got a fat nut right here. I need to hit one heads on this handiwork. It's gonna shatter shot. Alright. I get one heads. Of course I can't. What the fuck? Why does this game hate me? Fuck this game. Fuck this game. He still can't one-shot me. Koga's Trap, that still doesn't do anything. That's not putting damage on. I'm gonna try to, like, nasty absorption, or poison, poison absorption. Come on, bro. You, ha you have a GX attack. You have a GX available. Come on. It's not that hard. Nasty goo mix. Uh. Mm. I don't have to be at his at his whim. I just need one fucking heads. No fucking way. <laughs> what is this game? What is this game? Fuck you. We're gonna beach for one. <sighs> you still can't kill me. It's gonna be even harder now, because I have resistance on you. And more HP. Cosmic burn. Wait! <sighs> He had Cosmic Burn that whole fucking time. He literally could have just gone Psychic Energy, Kogus Trap, Fury Belt, Cosmic Burn, KO Wailord. He had game! He had game that whole time! How? How did I fucking win? You're- Oh my god, our opponent is- I don't wanna- You know, he's obviously a newer player, but holy fuck, that was so bad. So many misplays, and this deck doesn't make sense. Makes none. We didn't deserve that win. I did not deserve that win at all. I'll take it, but I don't deserve it. Oh my god. Well, at the same time, I drew so shit, and I could have gotten so many better flips. Under Vision 1. Aren't you a pub scammer? I forget. Like, I'm... I definitely recognize the name. <gasps> Under Vision 1. I don't know if that's a pub scam or someone I see in trade chat all the time or what. I don't remember. This is why I need to play this game more.
So I can actually, that way I don't accuse somebody of being a scammer if they're not. But like, also if I'm like, oh, that's my friend. And no, that's a common pub scammer. Like Alex Chang. That's a name I remember. Alex Chang and Provocator. Or provocator. I don't know why I like calling him Provocator. It's Provocator. I'm going to start the fat ass hoopa. And see what's up. This hand is bad. I guess it's playable. It's donk. Get fucked. Get fucked. I'm playing Hoopa. Suck my dong. Get fucked. Ah! Unless you're playing the Mew, you have to get uh, all four Zigs, all four Super Scoop Ups, and all four Nets. Or, like, some combination of that with Recycles. I don't think you're getting 12 Zigpings turn 1. I don't think you can get 12 Zigpings turn 1. Surely one of them is prize, and surely you're not going to hit all heads. Not possible. I also could have just benched both of these, and he would have just been like, Scoop! You're really gonna try this. Come on. Don't embarrass yourself. That's probably where I recognize the name from, is just from seeing a shitload of uh, Latios on ladder. Uh oh. There's Wonder Cycle heads. Plus power. Funny joke. Oh my god. The Shaman for six. If he hits 12 Zigpings turn one, I will quit the game. Also, I forgot to bust a nut. There we go. That was for the last game that I shouldn't have won. Oh, you still have. Mm. All right. You only have one recycle left. Between recycles and super scoop ups, he needs four heads. I don't know if it's possible now. He's gotten one. I think he needs to hit heads on all of them remaining and not prize a single uh, scoop up net or zig left. Laser, that works too. All of a sudden he needs one less heads. That's game. I think he was mapping it out too. I think he was mapping it out like, yeah, if I flip tails on this, that's game. He's probably mad that uh, he got luck sacked, but he's playing donk, so fuck him. That's, that's another nice thing about playing all these cool, big wall decks, is that Donk... I mean, Donk can beat Dolls, because Dolls all, dolls need, like, definitely needs to go second, but if Dolls doesn't get like three months out on the field turn one, Dolls can lose. However, with the walls... I mean, okay, so Faramosa can one-shot Waylord really easily. Latios technically can one-shot Waylord. It's very hard, but if you get Hoopa and another Mon on the field, they can't win. They outright cannot win the game if you get Hoopa and another Mon on the field. Either deck. Because they have to focus their Zigpings on killing the Hoopa. And, well, I guess in Dolls, technically, they can. Because if they get all the optimal Zigpings on the Hoopa and all that shit, then they can one-shot the, the second Mon. What is this? Dark Metal Dragon Psychic. I'm not sure. Uh, we're definitely starting the Waylord. I don't think it's Donk. Do I want to put the Luke Metal down? Yes, I will. Oh. Oh, is it ADPZ? I think it is. Well, no, because ADPZ plays Shaman. I would have seen a colorless symbol. What is this? I guess it could just be a bad ADPZ list. It probably is just a bad ADPZ list. That swell hurts a lot. Wow. That was impressive. Uh, we're just gonna go Stevens for... I forgot to play the fucking beach. Uh, Ranger.
I guess we're gonna go Ranger Beach still. And Hoopa? Yeah, I like that hand. Uh, don't get rid of this hand, please, because I definitely need this hand to win. Lele, are you gonna fucking end me? Do these decks even play Lele? I don't think they do. Guzma Hollow, what the fuck? Okay, they do play Shaman. I don't know why you went for the- Oh, that's right, they don't play in. Duh. Yeah, no, I'm keeping this hand. I've seen some of them run like one Marnie and expanded for whatever reason, but I, I don't think they play in at all. Dark. Stardust. I'm so confused. What? 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 Alright, we're gonna go Hoopa, Ranger, Beach. I'm pretty sure we went in the stadium war at some point. Fucking eat my ass, guy. Comp search for what? Why are you running dark energy? What is this deck? Shaman, that makes sense. That makes sense. But what is this? What is this? What is this deck? Tag call, yep. You're playing 380p. Why? Why? You're running multiple Guzmahala? Why? Why? What is this list? This is so but not great at all. Like, why are you running Dark Energy? It's probably going to be some stupid secret spicy tech that I'm not going to see until last minute. And it's going to make me lose. I'm going to ultimate, right? Why? Why'd you ultimate rain to Hoopo? You have the KO. You're literally giving me a spare turn to set up my board. Also, did you get another swell? No, you didn't. Okay, you do only play two. Do that. Uh, we're gonna Stevens for DCE, Beach, and another Steven? Maybe another Stevens. Now we get Max Pot. Congratulations, dude. You're so good at this game. We can get rid of the handiwork. I'm gonna get Stevens back. We're gonna add uh, DCE. We're not gonna play the beach because I don't want him to beach. But he also has Intrepid, so I might as well. Also, how the fuck do you have all this nice energy, but not Plasma Freeze Balls. Muscle Band, that's fine. You don't play your own Ranger, do you? 120. That's actually scary. Wait. No fucking way. There's no way you're out of energy. We're just going to scoop that up, uh, bench that, pass.
how? How did you already run out of energy? All right, so I'm going to Stevens for Faba. I have Versus Seeker, which is really good. Faba, Countercatcher, Versus Seeker. I still have no clue what the dark energy is. Maybe just a flex? No, I refuse to believe it's just a flex. There's no way somebody's just playing dark energy to flex an ADPC. It makes no sense. It makes absolutely no sense. So we're gonna go Hoopa. That's a great top deck, by the way. Hoopa, get rid of the double dragon. Scoop that into there. I'm gonna use my that's fine. Um Let's put double Hoopa down and see what he does. <laughs> Get fucked, dude. I want to see this list. I need to see this list. Fuck, I can't look at it. All right. Uh, I think that's enough games. Win with the fucking meme. Big whale guy. I'll show off the list again. Okay, this, this list isn't, or this deck isn't as good as, like, Doll Stall. It's fun. It's definitely fun. I, I enjoy playing walls more than I play dolls. Dolls, you have to think with a lot more. And since, you know, I'm bad at this game. Uh, it's definitely more fun to not think. And also just see your opponent rage. I will open a pack of heart gold, till silver, because I have enough coins. You know, just why not? Hopefully we can get something hype. That'll be pretty jank. All right. All the marbles. All the nuts. Big fat nuts. Uh, I actually don't hate getting that because that is standard legal. A reversal. Da -da -da -da. It's garbage. It's a big fat leak duck. All right, that's gonna be it. Uh, shout outs to our sponsors at Guardian Gaming, by the way. You guys should uh, go check them out. Link in the description. I got a code. Get you some codes. Uh, although I'll probably wait another week because uh, RCL is dropping in value very quickly. If you wait a week, they're gonna have Darkness Ablaze ready to go. Just get it done. Just do it. They probably. I'm pretty sure they have pre-orders up right now. If not, then you'll have to wait a week. But, you know, just go get you some codes. Also, go check out my Twitch. Uh, Twitch.tv slash GumballGB. Uh, link in the description will be the, to that, too. I, I mean, I produce a lot more content on Twitch than I do here. I've been taking a break this past week, but I'll be starting up again Monday. Uh, I don't know if I'll be playing PTCG. I've been playing a lot of Animal Crossing and Mario Kart. A little bit of Smash. I play a lot more games on Twitch. I stream a lot more on Twitch as well. So if you like fresh gum content, go check that out. I'll probably upload actually an Animal Crossing video tomorrow because I just got to five stars on my island. If you don't know what that means, because you're a Pokemon nerd, you'll find out. Anyway, uh, catch you guys later next Friday. Peace.